What's up guys, welcome to the Hive Creative YouTube channel where today we're going to be making objects in After Effects bounce to the beat. Now, this technique can be used with any of our templates and it can also be useful in your own work. So I'm just going to go over my workflow and what I think is the best way to do this. So you can see we have our template number four open right now. This is one of the templates available on our digital store. So as you can see in our files, we have uh, the logo, uh, three visualizers and a beat that we're mainly focusing on. So we want that whole thing to bounce. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose everything that we want to bounce. And that includes the beat because that's linked to all the visualizers. So we're going to pre-compose all of this. So I'm going to bring the beat back in to this composition. So normally at this point, what we'd do is we'd convert audio to keyframes on the normal beat. However, I want to cut out all of the high ends of the beat so it only reacts to the bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a low pass filter on here, um, cut it off at about 200 hertz and see how this sounds. So that should mean the visualizer should only really react to the bass. If you do it the normal way and just use the full beat, it's quite jittery, it's, it doesn't look stable and it does bounce quite nicely to the bass, but you have all these little movements in between that kind of ruin the effect. So this is why I do it this way. So um, when we're here, what we'll then do is we'll convert audio to keyframes. We'll get this audio amplitude layer here pop up. What we want to do in here is we want to delete both the right and left channels. Get the both channels open and then we can delete this beat now as well because we don't need it so that can go um so then we'll take the visualizer we'll get the scale press alt shift equals and then we get this expression box pop open here um so we're going to take this pig whip tool move this to the slider this should come up um, and then all you want to do is put plus 100 in each of these. And it works. And there you go. That's how you do it. So if you found this video useful, just drop a like and a comment below and let us know because um, this way we'll know to do more tutorials like this. And also don't forget to subscribe for regular updates on these visualizer templates, uh, which are available at hivecreativemedia.co.uk forward slash store. And for custom inquiries, just get in touch, hivecreativemedia at gmail.com um, and then we'll be there to help.